Mojo Radio. How do you feel about getting that lifetime achievement? Tell me first, who the hell are you? <laughs> who I from Mojo. Okay, good. Um, you know, I, I felt great about it. It's a group. And it was a big fucking thing for me. We've never gotten pissed before. We've never gotten anything. It was a big deal, especially coming from a, a genuine music magazine of quality. It's really well done, and it's something interesting about it is the when you look at it, um, it tends to blend. It really doesn't matter if what you're looking at is cool. It could have been from the 40s, the 60s, the 80s, or or the 21st century, and they're blending that consciousness, which I think is probably something that just nobody else in publishing dared to do because uh, people are so addicted to the compartmentalization and labeling of you know, type of music, era, place, that sort of thing. I think that's probably the genius stroke. And what about the rest of the year? What have you got planned? We're just going to work our butts off now. Um, the only weird thing we have to do all year after this is a, a little TV show that we get to play on that. So it's basically it's going to play until mid-September. And then I don't want to see anybody for six months. Okay. <laughs> so we've been at it about five years. Now. I'm going to take a six-month break and uh, then go make some new music. Mojo Radio.